Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and this is, as you can tell from the music, the utterly heroic recovery search and rescue simulator. You know what, I asked some of you, what should I play more of, and some people said why not Wednesday, and some people said they wanted more simulation games, apparently people really enjoyed open sea fishing simulator for some mad reason. So, let's play this Madness, shall we? Also, I'm really interested. Do, do search and rescue specialists live in a little fort out in the wilderness? Because it looks like they've actually got a little fort with like towers and all this jazz. This is very exciting. Now I've just got to listen to more of this music. This is incredible. What the full coral? <laughs> you can make this the you could make this the soundtrack of Skyrim and it would work. What the hell is going on here? All right, I'm John. I'm on me difficulty medium because obviously being a park ranger cannot be that damn difficult. So, ranger, you have been selected to join the greatest search and rescue team ever assembled. My God. God, really? If there is a needle in a haystack, you'll be sure that we'll find it. And we've got plenty of time to search for needles in haystacks because we have literally nothing else to do. First things first, orientation. We'd have some basic equipment for you in a field nearby. Locate your walkie-talkie. All right. Okay. Oh, oh. Re rescue base one. Oh, I have a house. Ooh, we have a house. We have a house. <gasps> is this where I sleep? In a single bed? This, this is where I sleep, in a single bed, in a hut, with a filing cabinet, and a table with one chair. Okay, apparently rescue rangers not expecting to have much female company. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, how do I pick this up? Congratulations, Ranger. Never leave home without your trusty walkie-talkie. Okay, just click it. Report back to the rescue hut and we continue with our mission. We've left something for you outside the front door. Well, it wasn't there a second ago, so who the hell put it there? This is bloody creepy. Oh, look, the rucksack I ordered for you has arrived. Not sure it got here, though. Dead delivery driver must be... Well, it's good to know they are lampshading their own uh, problems. Why don't you take this map as... Oh, no, the wind has blown it right out of our hand. We must go after it. We'll use my... Bloody, I'm, I'm bloody useless. Tab to view the map and head towards the red circle. Which is the most likely area the map has been blotted. Oh, I like that. It's not just like a quest marker. There is like a little, um, it does actually like give you like an idea for roughly where things are going to be. Ooh, ooh, okay. So I need to head due east. I don't have a compass. Ooh, okay. So I can tell which way I'm looking from that. But apparently I could use, I could use a compass. All right. Let's just go after the map then. All right. That's a, it doesn't look terrible. I've seen worse. Oh, the grass, the grass is, what the hell are you? What? Are you a pig? Pig! Come back, pig! Pig! Wild pig? Wait, what country am I in? Do you have wild pigs in him? I'm catching him. I'm catching him. He's not going to be able to get me on the slope. Come on, pig. Come on. I need some bacon. 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 Are you pig? Where the hell are you? Oh, yeah. That, that, is, that is roller pig. Uh oh Okay, I'm completely lost. Where's my map? Wait, what the... Wait, is that a pig with a tiny pig? Or is that a pig with a rabbit? Oh my god, wait, what? What is this? Is that the world's tiniest rabbit? What the? Oh, it's tiny! That's a tiny rabbit! Oh, oh, oh I'm so excited I missed jump. But first, I must recover my map. Incidentally, I just had to restart the game because it crashed because it doesn't really like some of the resolutions I'm trying to make it run in. So, I'm hoping this is going to look fine when I upload it in normal HD. Uh, to YouTube. I apologise if it doesn't look fine. It is lagging slightly. It refuses to run full screen. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be magnificent. I know it. Right, where's the damn map? Wait, 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 wait. Was that it? Oh, it's much easier to see when the things haven't damn popped in yet. Oh, my park map. You found it. I thought it would be lost forever. Well done. Now give me mine back. As a reward, I've left a surprise at the back of the rescue hut for you. Why don't you return there and see if you can find it? Wait. There's no one else here. I'm going to work under the assumption 
that my character just talks to themselves. Like, all the time. Like, this is all they do. They just spend their basically their days writing a series of complicated fake letters to themselves. Where they just devise fake problems. Oh no! I've dropped my map! I guess I shall have to go and find it now. I guess I'll have to borrow my other map to go find my first map. Oh dear, eh? You seem tired after that little hunt, finding the map that you just lost. Here's a free energy bar. These seem to be very good at regaining your energy. This one's free, next one will have a price tag attached. You can buy them at any of our lovely... Bloody hell, not only do I live in this one-person hut, I apparently also have to be constantly giving them my money. I'm a park ranger, shouldn't they be paying me? Surely they should be paying me. I for inventory. Shop. I can spend money buying a medium, large, or mega backpack. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Soon, soon I might be able to buy binoculars, compass. Compass would be useful. GPS map coordinates. Night, night vision goggles. I'm a bloody park ranger. I'm not storming an Al-Qaeda training camp. Bear sprites. Bears? There are bears? Energy bar. Energy food, energy food, mega, medical kit, medical kit, standard, medical kit, mega. That's for people who's like, have been decapitated. You need a medical kit, mega, if they've been decapitated. All right, hang on, what else am I supposed to be doing? Outside that, we've left another gift for you. Your very own bot. What? Go for a little ride. I've left a final surprise, a short rudder. I'm not sure I'm actually a park ranger. I feel like like my mum has just bought a park and told me that I can have. Yeah, I kind of feel like I... I wow. Yeah, my mum's just bought a park and I get to... Spice Girl appears to be almost as tall as I am. Okay. What? What? Oh, I, okay. I can turn while in map mode. Okay, I can actually have my... I can just have my map in front of my face. Uh, and occasionally ride into trees as a consequence. Okay. Interesting. Right. Forwards we go. On our... <laughs> this just shows how awful the draw distance is. This really does nothing but indicate just how bad the draw distance is. Oh, but on the plus side... What the... Hang on, hang on. Have you just left me a picnic? Right. Get off my bicycle. Just, this is your welcoming picnic. You are now officially a member of the team. <laughs> I get cherry bakewells and lemonade. No, no, we need the epic music. This, this is the soundtrack of my picnic involving cherry bakewells and lemonade and the little sandwiches that the chief park ranger has laid out for me as a special reward after I manage the immensely exciting task of dropping my own map the moment I was given it, managing to find it after scrambling around in the dirt for 10 minutes, and then making my way back to my own house. All right, welcome Ranger to our glorious national park. Is, wait, what national park? I'm assuming America. Do you guys only have one national park? I thought you like all had state parks. Because, like, I know there's a California state park, North California, because I've seen that on maps, because I've spent a lot of time in California in my days. So, I did. Do you actually guys have an actual national park? Where's that? I don't know where that is. Oh, is that, um. What's it called? The one where there's, like, the. Uh, oh, God. Yellowstone? Yellowstone? Is that your national park? Is that where I am? I might be, that might be where I am. Anyway, we're going to... There are dangers, rivers, canyons, tar pits. Ooh, tar pits. I'm riding my bike straight into one of them. Don't be scared, young one. I'm going to be on this game. I'm not... I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm here to train you in both dangers and want... Am I being trained by Obi-Wan Kenobi? Okay, fine. We're going to do this now. We're going to do this now. Get Don't be scared, young one. I'm here to train you in both dangers and wonders. First, we shall go through the many items we often find lying around the park. The tourists we get here are often messy creatures, and it is left to us to pick up after. Okay, fine, that's not very Obi-Wan Kenobi thing to do. I've simulated the average mess made by a herd of tourists as they move through the park. Follow the trail until you reach their camp. Is this basically the park ranger's nice way of saying, I've put some shit on the ground, go clean it up? All right. Alright, now what is going on here? Where am I? This is one of the park ranger houses, right? I'm not allowed in it. 
They've they've locked. Oh no no! I'm at the back. I'm at the back apparently. Okay. Is this one any nicer? Oh, this one's a bit brighter. This one's got a. This one's mysteriously glowing. Okay. Oh wait. Has this one got a slightly larger bed? Slightly larger bed. Still one seat. Still one table. All right. Fine. It's not exactly again. We're not exactly expecting company, are we? Right. Where are we going? We have to go immediately to the this direction. Get on bicycle. Get on bi. Where's my bicycle? Where's my bicycle? I had a bicycle. You gave me a bicycle, you bastards. Where is it? Where's my bicycle gone? B. B is my... Fine, we're doing this on foot then. Okay, and we're looking for something glowy. Because it's easiest to spot from a distance because it's kind of glowing before anything loads in to cover it. Oh, I can see you. I see you there. Okay, so are they, is it always in the middle of the, the circle or is it... Captain America's shield, lovely. Younger members of the herd seem to enjoy these flying discs, but I've seen a few of the adults join in with the fun as well. This actually feels like it might be a nature documentary. This could be a nature documentary, just by a bunch of aliens who have never seen humans before. Oh, I can sprint. Okay, I can sprint using shift. Okay, that's better. I mean, it's a flipping pain to be holding shift and W at the same time with a single hand. That's That's not fun. That is not fun at all. Oh, that looks like a boomerang. This is another version of their flying. This is weird. This is actually genuinely like alien. A park range is aliens. Is this what is this what we have observed the humans? This is another version of their flying toy. This one comes back. This one decided against it and flew away. It has rebelled against the humans. We shall ally against it when we move on Washington DC. Welcome boomerang brother. Attention pig, we are the park rangers. You shall work with us or you shall be destroyed. Very well, he has sided with the humans. There will be no mercy. No mercy. You know, I'm actually fine with there being no mercy against pigs. Pigs are delicious. Of all the animals in the world, is there anyone more delicious than a pig? All the things pigs give us. Bacon, ham, pork, gammon steaks. Oh. If I had to pick just one animal in the world to keep eating, I'd pick pig. This is a purple book. An almost brand new book. Not sure anyone would throw this away. Don't think it has the same qualities as the flying toys we found before. We shall never understand the average thought process of a tourist. Never seems logical. Wait, what the? What's that over there? <gasps> is that a stag? Go, go, go. When do I get a gun? Ooh, you're a, you're a, or a stag or a deer or something. Hello! I want to be in nature with you! I can- wow, I can- I can run- I can run faster than this damn deer! Hell yes! Come on! Come on, I'm getting- yes! Go, 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 go! Where's he gone? Okay, he escaped. I don't think he's now in my backpack. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, premium light! Tourists eat and drink a lot! We often find empty cans and disregard food packaging lying around the park. So in theory, if we were to cut off the Earthling's food and drink supply, we would be able to force them to surrender. Okay, good to know. Continue onwards with the mission. Okay, apparently we're getting close to the camp because he can smell smoke. Which is good, because that means that we will not need to start our own fire in order to burn the humans. Truly the humans have bamboozled me this time. Inflatable crocodiles seem to be left behind all the time. I think this isn't going to be the last one we find. Which is really, really bloody weird because there's no water anywhere near here. Apparently I can't take this with me. I just, I'm just i just going to find this litter and then leave it. Which is weird. They've actually created quite a big environment. I mean, it's a bit big and empty. And so far I haven't found any bears. Which is immensely disappointing. Oh, that's a camp. So yeah, this is... This is kind of like Skyrim, if Skyrim didn't have, well actually, any music, or characters, or weapons, combat, magic, um, quests, in fact just about anything. Skyrim, if Skyrim were eerily empty, really kind of weirdly empty, oh dear, looks like one of them left their coat behind, hope it doesn't rain, hmm, speculation, humans are not weak to water. We've made it to their camp. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at the moment. 
They must have gone on one of the treks they seem to love so much. Walking holidays. I will never understand them. We do not need to understand them. We merely need to enslave them. Mission 3. Footprints in the mud. Welcome back, Ranger. I see you haven't run away with fear yet. <laughs> Was this game made as a joke? Was this game made as a joke? So far, so far, I've had to go and find my map that I myself lost to a gust of wind. Then I had to eat an energy bar. Then I had to follow a trail of crap that you left for me as a test. And in fact, you're asking I haven't run away with fear. I've... This has got to be my mum. This has got to be... This has got to be my own mother has set up a national park purely to give me a job. I've got to be like five. Which would explain why the bike seems to be about two thirds as tall as I am. Which is interesting. Today we'll be looking at tracking wild animals using their footprints. Some of these can be hard to spot. So keep your eyes open, ranger, and your head down. Which is convenient because that will hide the appalling pop-in and draw distance problems this game has. And probably keep help the frame rate stay at least at 20 frames per second. Yes. Okay, I'm heading into the area. Suddenly you can't have a mini-map on. There's no mini-map or anything. It is purely a case of you've got your big map completely covering your entire screen or not. That's it. You've, or you've got no map at all. So, you know. Now... I'm looking for footprints. Is that a foot... Wait. Wait, that looks... That looks like a footprint. That looks like a paw print, but apparently it's not. Alright. Fortunately, the texture of the ground does appear to have several things that could theoretically be footprints. Or are these mysterious... Are these mysterious black monsters? These strange shadow creatures just footprints? Oh, 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 wait, dog. This dog just disappeared. Look at these prints. What a great example. The wolf which left these can't be... What? Yeah, we better move off in a different direction. Oh, wait, is that it? Is that the wolf? Hello, wolf. Wolf. No, come back, wolf. Wolf. When do I get a gun? Do I get a gun so I can start killing wolves at some point? Ooh, if I could just get enough wolves together, will they turn on me? Oh, oh, what? All right, wolf, you win this round. All right, ranger, I've got a lady here who's lost her pocket watch, but it's not just any pocket watch. It belonged to her great-great-grandfather. Apparently, he travelled through this area before it was a national park. He even served in a garrison that was stationed at the old fort. Okay, so it's at the old fort, then, I'm assuming. Even though it makes no reason that for it to still be at the old fort, I'm guessing it is. So I'm hope she wanted to pass it on to her children just as it was passed on to her. Now all hope is lost. Two things I can't stand, Ranger. Precious family heirloom gone missing. A lady in tears. And also litter. Never forget litter. Get out there and find that pocket watch. Okay. Okay. We're on, we're on the bike today. We're on the bike. Okay. We're, we're going to find a thing. Ooh. Blimey. And it's a long way away. Okay. We're just going to go a... We're just going to go a flipping long way in this direction, apparently. All right. Let's go. Okay, we've got we've got like six and a half minutes, so that's fine. That that's plenty of time. So what we need to do is just take up. Just look at the look at look at the wheel of the bicycle. Now, if you just make slight adjustments, if you just make the tiniest turn, the whole thing just turns slightly. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this is this is how cycling works, people. This this is how cycling works right here. I should probably spend some of my points on stuff at some point. Ooh, I'm getting tired fast. Uh, okay, I need to be careful of that. Apparently, this this range is going to need an energy bar pretty quickly. So, uh, be careful of that business. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just going to collapse on my way to rescuing this woman's heirloom, aren't I? Oh, I'm, oh I think my bike's slowing down because I'm getting more tired. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to need to buy snacks to complete this mission. Unfortunately, my range is getting tired. My range is getting extremely tired. And I'm assuming I'm just going to fall unconscious if I can't... Uh... Ranger, you're in no condition to continue. The mission is over. This part of Ranger went cycling for for about a minute and a half. He's just like, nope. 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 Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. But in order to do this, we're going to need supplies. Okay, we've got an energy food mega. Which is great news. That that will be enough for us to get where we want to go. So now that means that means we can totally go where we need to. 
So I've got my two energy meters, one of which is my, I assume it was my tiredness? Is that my tiredness and one of them's like my, my health, my heart rate? Is that what's going on here? Not sure. Anyway, this ranger is really, really wedded to his view. Like, he gets told by his park ranger, there's a woman whose family's lost something. Get out there and find it. And his immediate response is just like, all right then, let's get on our bike and literally cycle at maximum speed so hard. About two minutes later, I have fallen unconscious and cannot continue anymore. That or I'm really unfit. That or I'm immensely unfit. It's one or the other. Inventory. Use my mega food. Hell yes. And away we go. Oh, bloody hell, it's like Popeye's just had his spinach. Yeah, that's what we need to do this mission. This mission is just teaching you, yeah, sometimes you need to use energy food. Sometimes you're not good enough, you need to use performance-enhancing substances if you want to have any chance of doing your job correctly. <laughs> Always remember, if you can't do things on your own, just take external substances until you are capable of doing them. Now, I'm going to guess that we are actually looking for the old fort itself. Because it was said, stationed at the old fort. So, yes, old fort. Okay, the watch is totally going to be in the old fort. Don't even pretend. And bail off the bike. Okay, here we are at the old fort. We are here. Oh my goodness, what is... Wait, what is this? What a beautiful bracelet. Not a, No doubt a cherished piece of history, but I don't hear no ticking or talking. Alright, so that's... I think we might have found something completely unrelated. Good. Whoa, whoa, we just found an asthma inhaler. We just found an asthma inhaler. And the guy's like, don't need to worry about that. We should worry about that. I mean, someone doesn't have their asthma inhaler. If that's not a problem right now, it's going to be pretty soon. That is going to be a major problem in the not too distant future. Apparently, you can climb ladders. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to, but you do seem to be able to. You just need to jump up them. Yes! Okay, we are on top of the thing. Doesn't actually tell you that. There's just a jump button on space. But mysteriously, you can you can get up top, which is quite frankly a bit weird that you kind of have to jump up a ladder. It's not really how you ladder, but okay. Oh no! No, what is this? How can this not... What? No! Okay, this time, this time we're going after the river. A boy has lost a cap. This is obviously the single most important thing in the world. So, we're going after that cap. It doesn't matter how many bushes we need to ride full speed through, or mountains we need to go straight over. We just go, go straight over a mountain. Yep, yeah, we can. Doesn't Barely even slows them down. Barely even slows them down. Excellent news. Let's just cross over here. Now, apparently there's a, there's a river. He's gonna. He was doing this. This happened while he was going over a bridge. So that means we should be able to find a river somewhere nearby here. Oh, there's the... Oh, that's magnificent, isn't it? Look at those reflections. Oh, that's magnificent, quite frankly. Oh, there's a sign here. There's a sign. What is the sign? Campsite area. Yeah. Does appear to be. Okay, this isn't the bridge that we're after. We need to keep following the river around, because apparently we're after, like, the third bridge we're going to come to. There's going to be, like, another bridge we're going to come to. So that is, that's the bridge we're actually after. So we just need to go here over this, this here beach and just follow. There we are. I think you can see those two bridges up ahead. That's what we're actually after. We're actually after the second of those two bridges. Okay. The only concern is I'm already pretty exhausted from riding my bike as I've been doing. Um, so this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Okay. Okay. Ditch the bike. Uh oh, this isn't the right bridge. This is one of this is one of two bridges. Oh no. Oh my park ranger is exhausted. Um but I think by walking he recovers his stuff. Yeah, okay. I think he slowly recovers by walking rather than running. So my The flipping reflections <laughs> Look at this! Does anybody look at this and just think, yep, oh, this is ready to be released then. This is definitely ready for general release. Okay, that that there is the bridge in question, which I'm 
ambling towards because apparently my park ranger's a bit tired at the moment. So can't go any faster than this. So, yeah. I'm stuck going at this speed, which causes my tiredness or my energy bar to refill slightly. But I need him to hurry up because I've literally only got 50 seconds to go. Oh, God. I think I'm actually going to run out of... Uh, I'm going to run out of time before I actually get to the damn bridge. Which is quite frankly embarrassing for a park ranger. Come on, you've got to make it to the bridge, you idiot. Come on, get... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, so if you go into your final... If you go into your final thing, your heart starts to flatline. Your heart rate starts to go. Must reach bridge. Must reach bridge before... No, I'm dead. Yeah, I've actually died. Okay, good. Okay, this time, this time I've brought all the food with me. So I can just cycle full speed at this thing, and it's not going to be a problem. It's going to be absolutely fine. I can just cycle full speed, and it's going to be fine. And I'm going to not go over the mountain this time, because that possibly is what knackered me so quickly. Oh, I love how I've got my little, um, my little search and rescue bike, little SAR. Badge. That's nice. It's very natty. Ah, you see. A new, a little mega energy bar later, and I am cycling like crazy again. Yep. That, means that does use up your points pretty darn quickly. And if you fail a mission, you don't get the points you've spent in that mission back. So, you could end up screwing yourself over pretty easily, actually. So, you've got to be... Oh, no, don't go in the river, though. Don't go in the river. Don't go in the river. Okay. Alright, here we go, and ditch the bike. Ditch the damn bike. Alright, we've made it to the bridge. We have made it to the bridge. We can't get on it. <sighs> okay, so, gust of wind got this kid's lucky red cap. Which means, where is it going to be? Is it going to actually be in the river? I don't know if I can swim. I'm a park ranger, so I really hope I can swim. Lucky red cap. Blown by the wind. Could it be in the water? Ooh, actual sound. You may have noticed that after the epic intro music, this game just sort of gave up on its on its sound. Oh, what the? I think I drowned. It's only up to my boots. I'm the worst part ranger ever. Okay, so having failed three missions in a row, but the game lets you move on anyway, apparently now I've got my, like, entrance exam to become a proper ranger, where I'm going to do a test. So, I, all I have to do is go around the park, and this guy's going to be keeping an eye on me. Alright, we can do this. We can, we can totally do this. Alright, right, let's, first things first, top up on everything. Got what I needed there, on the bike. Where are we going? We are going... Way over here. Alright. Let's go. I've got loads. I have so much energy. I have so much energy food with me. Uh, I don't know. Even if this goes on a little bit. I should be okay to keep going. So. This. This is what being a park ranger is all about. Hop on your bike. Go. Go a bit sonic on everyone. Quite frankly. Because I'm riding like unnaturally fast. Ride ridiculously unnaturally fast. Then run out of energy and start crawling at a pace on foot and then literally fall over and die. And if you get your boots wet, you will drown. So, there you go. Oh, I'm already starting to slow down. Yep. Standard energy bar. Go again. Yep, lovely. Oh yeah, this is like that bit out of Return of the Jedi, except in no way exciting and with no music or anything. So basically, as far as I can tell, the kind of the point of this quest is basically literally teaching you to constantly use as many performance-enhancing drugs as is required to complete your objective. That's basically what's happening here. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, and ditch the bike, ditch the, ditch the bike. Okay, now, now, no, 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 no. Apparently, there's going to be a selection of things here. A hat. Good idea, Ranger. Having suitable clothes for potential weather changes. We have to save time in the park. Worth wearing clothes with bright colours. Easier if you get lost. Alright. 
What else is there? Am I supposed to be going somewhere else that's not, like, in the fort? That's kind of, like, around the fort? Um... Oh, yeah, there's more stuff. Okay, what have we got? Uh, boots! Boots are sensible! Yes! Boots! Let's wear boots. Um... Boots, ideally, of the sort that are made for walking. Because uh, that is what they'll do. And one of these days, uh, these boots are going to conquer humanity and walk all over everyone. Oh, we need to find another item of sensible clothing. Oh, wait, was there one right in front of me all the time? What is this? What is this? What is this? A hairband? Yes. Sensible. Keeps my hair out of my eyes. Out of time. The mission is over. Hasn't taken me back to the screen. Yeah, there's no map anymore. There's no map. Um, can I can I use my bike? No, can't use my bike either. Can jump though. Can jump, which is useful. I can't access the escape menu either. The game is actually broken. The game is actually broken. And it did also crash twice while I was trying to reset its resolution. So that's just magnificent, isn't it? Alright. Alright. That's that's about as much search and rescue simulator as I can take for now. My god, it's awful and there's another 20 missions yet. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to ask, but do you want to see more of this? <laughs> do you actually want to see more of this? <laughs> so yes, this is Search and Rescue Simulator. This is a ravine that apparently runs its way through Yellowstone National Park, which has like... Yes, is really flipping weird. <laughs> oh god, this game. This game is is kind of bad. Uh, but, no, Open Sea, Open sea Fishing Simulator is a masterpiece next to this, but uh, do let me know if you want to see more, and I'll consider, I'll consider trying to complete this awful, awful game. In the meantime, I've been John, this has been Many a True Nerd. This has been Search and Rescue Simulator. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Apparently I'm fine. I've run out of energy, but I'm fine. Apparently it only hurts if I try and move. Wait, I can keep going down further? How? Yeah, as long as I don't let my... Oh, yeah, as long as I don't let my... Oh, oh, we've made it out of the world. Oh, yep. Yep. There we go. Search and Rescue Simulator, everybody. Mag bloody -nificent. Stop. No, stop. Stop. Steve! Steve, you, you messed it up! Could you please help? Person in Glitching House and Low Resolution Tractor! Okay, yeah, I think we're turning. We just need to be going... Just not... No! Don't bloody crash!